Oh my god, what have I done? Yeah, it's kind of humid. Yeah. Need to change out this grill. Right now we just have the vinyl on it and it's okay. And these are gonna get changed out too. This is still plastic dip. It's all worn out. It's gross. Let's see it better in the sun how gross it looks. That's just the nature of plastic dip. I'm presuming these will be replaced with OEM blackout trim. So the goal is to remove these, well, press down these tabs. See how they kind of have to separate here. It's kind of weird. The goal is to um, separate this so you can pull out the chrome. So you can see I separated, see that's the how you clip it back in. You see it's just a clip. Oops. And the goal is to raise it when you raise it wait, hold it when you raise it you'll be able to push it out is in so just go in the back make sure everything is back where it should be and the clips are in place
Oh gosh, go figure, I pick one of the hottest days of the summer to do this. It's like 97 degrees on the outside and it feels like 200. I was able to take the bumper off and the harness, very easy to do to remove that harness, and take it inside the house. So I was able to um, do it in an air conditioning environment. It was a lot easier than I expected. In fact, it was easier to remove the bumper and put it back on than it was to actually take the chrome pieces off once the bumper was off. Uh, those chrome piece tabs are a pain in the butt. I'm not keeping that chrome trim. I'm probably gonna trash it because they're broke, you know, it's got broken tabs anyway. I think chrome looks great on some colors of SS. I just don't think it looks great on my red SS. I like it to, to be all black if possible. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you.